Hi, in this video I'll be demonstrating how to upgrade the firmware on a Voltronic Power Expert Inverter. So here are examples of the inverters. In order to connect to your Expert Inverter, you will need a comms cable. This particular one is an RJ45 and on the other side it is a D-sub, 9-pin D-sub. If you cannot find your cable, you can also check out my video on how to make your own RJ45 to D-sub cable. Right, so on the inverter side, we plug in the RJ45 and it goes to the COM port. Now on your computer side, there is the serial port and you can plug in your DB9 as follows. But you'll find that most computers and laptops no longer have this port. You'll then need a serial to USB converter. Right, on this inverter, I'm just plugging in the cable on this side where it says common. Then I just have my DB9 to USB converter, which is plugged in on the side of my laptop. All right, so I'm now gonna use the Watch Power app and automatically it should pick up the inverter. There it comes up. It will come up with the full serial name. If you're having a problem here, you can say uh, Watch Power Configuration and then it says here COM port and there it's showing the COM port. Now, if you wanna just have a closer look at your COM port, you can go to the device manager and just make sure that your laptop automatically installed the USB to serial COM port. In this case, it's COM port 5. Over here, I've got other COM ports which I'm not using. So I'm just showing you, you might have other COM ports. What's most important here is that the one that's the USB to serial converter that I've just plugged in. For example, if I unplug it, I can see that that is the one that I am using. For example, if I plug it back in, notice that that COM port number five comes up again. You can relabel this if you wanted to. You could call it number one or two. You could just say properties and then change the port settings. So you could go to advanced and then over here it says COM port five. You can call it whatever you want. So in my case, I'm just using COM port five and I can confirm that the driver is available. It's already installed. If you're getting this triangle, it means there's a problem with that COM port, meaning maybe your serial to USB converter needs to be installed properly. So it should look like this. Now I can go to Watch Power and I can see that I can communicate with the inverter. Now in my case, I'm going to be updating the firmware. So the most important thing is to quickly have a look at what firmware is currently on the unit. So the unit is CPU version is 54. So we want to update the firmware. So now what I need to do is close the watch power, but just make sure it is completely exited there. It is still running. So I need to just say exit, otherwise it holds up that port. Now I just need to update the firmware. So for the firmware update, you will need this reflash tool. You can get this from the manufacturer and when I double click it, it immediately shows me which COM port it's going to connect to and that is correct. It, is, it says COM port 5 and then you will have the firmware files in the folder that you get from the supplier or manufacturer and then I'm just going to say update and this will update the firmware and it does take a bit of time so just make sure the battery on your laptop is full. Now, in my case, I'm using COM port 5. Yours might be COM port 1, might be COM port 2. Just make sure that the COM port that you choose is the COM port which is assigned to that serial to USB converter if you are using a serial to USB converter. Now, also, the update process does take quite a bit of time. Be prepared to wait at least 15 minutes. For best practices, have the utility, the electricity supply off and have the PV also disconnected. So the inverter should just be running on the batteries. Okay, in this case, the update failed. It says I must retry. So I'll do it one more time. All right, so in my case, I'm rerunning the update process. I could not power off the inverter. The only way to power off the inverter is to disconnect all the power to the inverter. In this case, it meant I had to disconnect the batteries. Then I reconnected the batteries and the inverter powered up and then tried the firmware update again. Okay, so I'm just exiting the tool. I've launched watch power and I can now connect with the unit and there we can see the main CPU version has been updated. It's now 5406.